Alert, Roy Moore campaign releases witness statements, destroys accuser Nelson's account, Dems are desperate. Roy Moore has maintained from the beginning that he didn't know his accuser Beverly Young Nelson and wasn't familiar with the restaurant she claimed that she worked out. The Moore campaign has released three witness statements that totally destroys Nelson's story, reports Briette Bart News. Already, her stepson and a former boyfriend had disputed Nelson's story and now three more are calling her story into question, including two who worked at the restaurant at the time Nelson claimed she was attacked. Neither one ever saw Moore come into the restaurant and neither one remembers Nelson working there. Ron Ledbetter had worked at the Oldie Hickory House for three years, including time before and after the alleged attack. Here is her statement. When I heard Beverly Nelson's story, there were several details that were different from what I remember. I was nervous at coming forward because of all the attention this story has gotten, but as a moral and ethical person I had to speak up about what I know to be true. I was a waitress at Holdy Hickory for almost three years from 1977 to 1979, and I never saw Roy Moore come into the restaurant. Not one time. And I would have noticed because most of our customers weren't wearing suits, especially not at night. I came forward because from what I've seen, the media is only interested in reporting one side of the story. In fact, Dixon Hayes from WRBC in Birmingham asked for former employees to contact him but never responded when I told him I never saw Roy Moore come into Oldie Hickory House during the three years I worked for. Another Oldie Hickory House waitress, Renee Sivra, stated. I was a waitress at the Oldie Hickory House during the summer of 1977, before my senior year of high school. When I heard Beverly Nelson's story the first thing that stuck out to me was that I don't remember Roy Moore ever coming into the restaurant. I also don't remember her working there. The third and final witness was Johnny Bellew Sr., described as a former police officer with over two decades of experience with the Etow County Sheriff's Department and the Gadsden Police Department. I was a regular customer at Holy Hickory House, and I never once saw Judge Moore come in there. If he had I would have immediately recognized him. I also never met Beverly Nelson during any of the many times I frequented the restaurant, and I can't say that she even worked there. The slander surrounding Judge Roy Moore is falling apart quicker than a dollar store tablecloth. If Nelson ever worked at the restaurant, it would be very simple to prove. All she has to do is request a copy of her 1977 tax return. Don't count on that happening as her lawyer Gloria Allred refuses to release the school yearbook to vary her claim that Roy Moore actually signed it. We get the feeling that these accusers do not want their allegations investigated. Tuesday morning, Janet Porter, president of Ohio's Faith to Action, appeared on MSNBC to offer another side to the story. As the tangled web of lies unravels, Judge Roy Moore is being proven innocent, she told hosts Olive Shy and Stephanie Rule, citing the above witnesses who have come forward.